Hello everyone, my name is Chandrakant. This is my live page. Today we will talk about community medicine or public health. But first, let me introduce myself. I joined my graduate studies at Maulana Azad Medical College and received my MBBS degree. Following that, I completed my doctor of medicine degree in community medicine from Lady Harding Medical College, New Delhi. After completion of my MD community medicine, I also did a masters in business administration in healthcare management from Amity University, Noida. During my MD degree, I also worked as junior resident doctor in public health at Lady Harding Medical College. During this period, I served in uh, three rural healthcare facilities and one urban health center of Lady Harding Medical College where I would go to the field provide healthcare treatment and public health advice to some of the communities which are underserved. Following completion of my MD degree, I joined as program consultant at the Incline Trust International, which is most of the people understand health in a very narrow sense that when they get sick, they go to hospital and then they seek care from a doctor. That's a broader understanding by general population that a doctor will provide care when person is sick. However, health care is much beyond that. So health care is all about uh, an entire range of health services starting from preventive, promotive, curative, diagnostic and rehabilitative health care. However, first requirement is to have a good understanding of epidemiology. In simple terms, epidemiology is understanding distribution of uh, determinants of various diseases, where the diseases are occurring, who, which are the pro group of people who are affected, what are their common characteristics. So there is a specialized subject which is called epidemiology. You need to have a good understanding of epidemiology to work in this area. The second communication skill is one of the first skill each public health specialist should try to harness or improve. In this job, you are communicating with the different set of people. You are communicating with the policy makers, you are communicating with the community, you are communicating with the program managers. The communication is a core of your technical advice. Even if you are attending meeting or providing technical inputs, you are communicating. And this communication is both uh, verbal communication but also written communication. So as a public health specialist or community medicine person, you need to continuously improve your both verbal communication or written communication. What I get maximum kick is that you are influencing the policy. And when you work with the individual patient or individual person, you, the impact of your work is on that individual. But when you work at the policy level, your canvas becomes really big very quickly. In a one go, you have a potential to influence or affect the life of many people, hundreds or thousands of people, and in Indian setting like crores of people in one go. So the best part about working in public health is influencing policy. In addition to policy, and the first challenge is short timelines. Usually when you are working on projects and we are working with different partners, most often you get a very short timeline. Sometimes you want longer duration for those activities, but you have to deliver those in a really short period. Because once you do that part, then other person will get engaged. Short timelines, so sometimes you have to work 16 hours, 18 hours in a day is the biggest challenge. Other related challenge is that sometimes you have to travel on a short period if there is a disease outbreak in some setting. It cannot wait for planning. It happens naturally and then you have to go, go out to the field and work with them. So short timelines and travels on a short duration is a big challenge in this sphere. I'm at the office by 8.30 a.m. First two hours I usually keep for uh, checking my emails and responding to urgent emails. Thereafter, I look at other pending activities and try to finish before lunchtime. My second half, I usually keep for preparing for meetings or other presentations. And toward the end, I again check my emails. But this is a typical day, which happens only two of the five working days. In other working days, sometimes you have to attend meetings, sometimes you have to travel, and then everything goes in a different order. So what I would say that uh, Two of the five days are similar, but other three days are not the same. For every single day, there are different activities which are influenced by the meeting which are organized by outside agencies or partners, also upon the travel and other priorities. And most importantly, 
you might have a very planned day but something comes up and then you have to respond to those needs so your day can change entirely and then you have to work till nine o'clock and you have to work till you come back home so that's a challenging day i hope uh, i have given a balanced view of public health and community medicine too which will interest and encourage you to think in this direction the key is as many people believe that only doctors or people with graduate degree in medicine can become community medicine or public health expert is not fully true in india to become a public health specialist you need to have an aptitude to work with the people and to work for their better health services and you can get the right kind of training and learnings to make difference and once you become public health specialist and start working public health trust me fully satisfying and very uh, motivating because you are influencing and affecting life of the people for better thank you very much